Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of this unbelievable life. Today, I have one of my new friends, Joshua Hill, who is one of the owners and founders of Response Medical Training. And I had the honor of meeting Joshua at one of the recent vet events, uh, veteran events. And I'm going to let him talk a little bit more about being veteran owned as well. But Response Medical Training is a veteran and woman owned CPR training company. They are compromised of paramedics registered nurses, and EMTs, and combined they have over 25 years teaching medical classes and over 50 years of pre-hospital and hospital training. Joshua, take it away. So good afternoon. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, so we started response medical training back in uh, February. We kind of uh, were talking for a little bit and we wanted to start our own little business, get training out there. We enjoy teaching. So we we decided, hey, let's see what we can do. Um so like like uh, you said, we've been training for about 25 years, 25 plus years, give or take. So we wanted to offer that to people out there that don't have many options on training because we teach both American Heart Association, which I usually say AHA just because it's easier. And then uh, we also teach Red Cross, American Red Cross. And a lot of people don't know how to get a hold of people at the Red Cross, and a lot of people don't know about the AHA and stuff like that. So we wanted to kind of bridge that gap um, to be able to teach both uh, AHA and Red Cross to get it out there to people, um, whether it be, you know, somebody who has an older relative or child that want that knowledge base or... Um, a daycare, I apologize, my cat's yelling at me next to me, so if you hear her, um, and, but we wanted to get it out there, you know, daycares, they have to be certified, uh, teachers, they have to be certified, and not many people have a lot of options to be able to get that training, so we wanted to, to help um, get the name out there, get the, um, the classes, the knowledge out there, so, um, we offer adult classes, we offer pediatric classes, um, and we offer babysitting classes. Um, we also have what we call Stop the Bleed. Uh, it's not what we call it. It's a national thing um, to help with gunshot wounds, gashes, all that fun stuff, uh, how, to, how to put a tourniquet on, how to, how to keep compressions and uh, uh, pressure on, on wounds and stuff like that. So we, um, we wanted to take our knowledge in, in in the pre-hospital and hospital settings and expand on what's out there you know we both all, all the classes involved you know have the videos and it's it's great to listen to the videos but if you have just some random person who's never actually been out there in the field it's it's hard to relate on why this is actually a thing so um you know for every minute of somebody being down that's 10 percent chance less survivability the average ambulance response time is anywhere between seven and ten minutes for a fully staffed ambulance service well around here where uh we're based uh, which is henderson kentucky and evansville indiana um the the services aren't fully staffed so you're, you're going to get that extended time of not having an ambulance there and people's ideas of oh we can wait for 911 it's great for you, but unfortunately, you know, the outcome uh, for the patient may not be there. Even if you get them back, they're probably going to have a deficit of some sort because of, of the lack of blood circulation and oxygen in their body. So, yeah, that's um, what we wanted to get out there and, you know, definitely promote it. Um, you know, vets, we wanted to, we wanted to help vets because a lot of people with PTSD and stuff like that, unfortunately, you know, um, they, they're not having a good time right now. So we wanted to, you know, get stuff for uh, people that know vets because they're with their PTSD and all that stuff They're They also um, have high suicide rates. So we wanted to kind of help, help people hopefully mitigate that as well. Um, so I know kind of a dark turn there, but yeah, um, but that's that's something we wanted to get out to. But, well, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how do they reach out to your business? So um, you can contact me via my email, which is joshua.hill at responsemedicaltraining.com. 
that's a lot to type. I understand. Um, but that is the easiest way. Um, you can also call me on my cell phone at 270-860-5548. And that is my business uh, number. And I usually try to get back to people, whether it be email or phone number, uh, usually within a couple hours, um, unless it's after hours and I, I wait till the next day around eight o'clock. So those are the easiest ways. Um, you can look us up on Facebook uh, at responsemedicaltraining.life. Um, and then working on a couple of other uh, social media things, but that's that's soon to come. Excellent. Well, I think the major takeaway for me is that you your business would be applicable not only to individuals and families, but to businesses as well. And so um, if anybody is interested in bringing you guys in to do the training, by all means, whether, you know, like I said, you're an individual or you have a contact at a business, um, you know, help spread the word. You know, businesses, small businesses grow through word of mouth. And this is why the podcast like this is so important so that we can help get your name out there. And 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 we're just tremendously excited to to have you on today to hear exactly what you guys do. So with that said, I want to thank you for being on the show today. And I want to thank everybody for listening and wish everybody a blessed and wonderful day.